3.2.21, our function is f of t is equal to 2t over 2 plus square root of t. And we are trying to find the derivative of this function. And in this case, we have two things on the denominator. We cannot break down the fractions. So we have to use the quotient rule in that, this case. Let me label the top as the red f and the bottom as the red g. And for quotient rule, we are going to write down the g first, which is going to be 2 plus square root of t and the function f is going to be 2t, all right? And I'm going to just differentiate this. The derivative of 2 is 0. And I think you have been doing a lot of square root of x, square root of t already. The derivative of square root of t is going to be 1 over 2 square root of t. This is something that you might well just remember it, right? Because if you can just write this as t to the 1 half and then bring to the 1 half to the front, and then you are going to bring the square root to the denominator afterward. This is something that is going to happen a lot. You might well just remember it as a formula, right? The derivative of square root t is 1 over 2 square root t. Anyways, we continue with this. f prime is equal to 2. The derivative of 2t is just 2. And now we're ready. And I'm going to apply the quotient rule. So the derivative of f of t, our original function, you start with a fraction. You're going to end with a fraction, and before I forget, let me square the denominator first. So it's going to look like this. So on the top, it's going to look like this times that, right? So I'm going to break this down as 2 plus square root of t parentheses times 2. And for quotient rule, you subtract. Subtract this, which is 2t times and you pair it up with this, 2t times 1 over 2 square root of t like that. All right, so that's it for the calculus part. Then the rest is algebra. That will be equal to the denominator stays the same. Let's see what are the algebras that we can do on the top. Of course, I can distribute the 2 into the parentheses. So I get you know, the 4 right here. And then 2 times square root of t is positive 2 square root of t right here. And for the second part, the 2's cancel. And t over square root of t, this becomes just square root of t. Right? t over square root of t is just square root of t. You can write this as t to the first power over t to the 1 half power. 1 minus 1 half is 1 half power. So it's square root of t. All right? And this is minus, so just like that. And we are ready. Let's see. We have 4 right here. And 2, t, two square root of t minus square root of t, we have positive so plus square root of t, like that. So overall, our answer is 4 plus square root of t all over parentheses 2 plus square root of t squared, like this.